Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. Wow, it has been a while. <laughs> I hope that you guys had a great summer. Um, as many of you know, I did move into a new house this summer, so things were a little bit chaotic. So that explains my absence uh, here on YouTube. Thank you so much for all the kind messages that uh, many of you had sent me, congratulating and just checking up and uh, just making sure that everything was okay. So I am back today with a planner confessions video for you guys. I know you enjoyed the first one, so I hope that you will enjoy the second one. So I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. Without further ado, let's get into this video, guys. Okay, so before I get started with uh, sharing some of my confessions, I really wanted to share with you guys, um, you know, why I like filming these kind of videos. And the reason for that is I get a ton of messages of people saying, you know, you're so organized, uh, your planner must be perfect, you're always on top of things. And you guys, that's not always the case. I'm human just like everybody else. My planner is not perfect uh, by any means. Um, you know, at the end of the day, things fall through the cracks. And I really wanted to share that with you guys just to show that, you know, things happen, life happens, and that is completely okay. So let's jump into the first planner confession. And that would be that I actually did not even plan last week. So these monthly inserts over here are from a shop called Infinite Lotus. As always, you'll find the discount code linked in the description box below. So, you know, again, uh, last week I just was not feeling well. Planning my week was just not on the top of my list. It was not top priority. And that happens. What I do when, you know, something like this happens is I'll use, for example, sticky notes. This one over here is from a shop called Cloth and Paper. So I'll just write down, you know, what needs to be done for the day and check them off as they are completed. Uh, another thing that I do is uh, use a notepad. I'm absolutely loving this one. It's from a shop called Papery Planning. So again, I'll just, you know, list what I need to do for the day, rip it out. Sometimes I'll hole punch it, put it in my planner. Sometimes I'll clip it inside of my planner using my Ollie clip. So, you know, again, there are options, uh, you know, if you're for some reason not able to complete your weekly insert and that is completely okay. Life went on, you know, I was okay. And, um, you know, another thing is I make sure that I, you know, don't miss any appointments. So what I do in the morning is I'll take a look or at night, I'll take a look at my monthly insert. This is a month on one page from a shop called Rosie Papatri. You'll also find a discount code in the description box below. So I'll take a look and see, you know, do I have any appointments happening that day? Because very important to make sure I don't miss any of my appointments. So as long as I'm taking a look at that, I am good to go, right? I know that, you know, whether I have appointments or not for the day, uh, I've had, I have my list, whether it's on a sticky note, on a notepad of what I need to do for the day, and I am good to go. So again, my first confession is that there are days where I just will not complete uh, the weekly insert. Okay, so moving on, another uh, you know thing that I noticed, so I have tabs over here. Uh, I do have a video sharing how I print on uh, post-it tabs. I'll link that video in the description box below for you guys. So these are my symptom trackers. This is the, uh, what do you call this? The yearly overview, I guess, from uh, Infinite Lotus. So I use this to track symptoms for my chronic illnesses. And as you can see, I have not been doing a good job of tracking them at all. Um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, I didn't do anything all summer. That's not the case. I actually did have symptoms, but they weren't being tracked. Uh, again, that's okay. You know, uh, I, I know that I had symptoms and they just weren't tracked and that's completely fine. As long as I recognize that and know going forward, you know, to remind myself to write that down, then that is completely fine. So again, you know, you guys know I'm really not a big fan of using trackers because I find that if anything, sometimes they just add pressure to ensure that they're always completed uh, and whatnot. So that's why you'll notice I don't have any habit trackers in my planner. I believe the only trackers I have are my symptom trackers. 
What I do instead is I'll actually schedule whatever it is that I need to do into my weekly insert. So for example, you know, I know that people have habit trackers where, they'll, where they will list, you know, did I read today? Did I exercise today? So what I'll do is I'll just add those things into my weekly insert. That way I can check them off and I know that they were being done. So again, my second confession is that my symptom trackers are not always filled out. So let's talk memory planning <laughs> because you guys know if you've been following me for a while, you know that is my weak spot. Um, I just, for the life of me, cannot seem to do anything with memory planning. So this insert over here is part of the Mama Bundle. It is the yearly overview. It's in collaboration between myself and May Paper Co. So as you can see, this tab says highlights. So what I intended to do with this insert was to use it as, uh, you know, monthly highlights. So to track, you know, anything that we did as a family that I didn't want to forget, anything the kids said that was maybe funny or special or something like that. And as you can see, it just has not even been filled out through, since the beginning of the year. So, you know, I know that it's, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't know why you guys, I don't know why memory planning is honestly really hard for me. So if you have any tips on how I can, you know, start filling this out or whatever the case may be, please leave those in the comment section below. Do you guys memory plan? How do you do your memory planning? I would love to know. I would really appreciate any tips or advice that you guys might have. So again, you know, that's another thing is my memory planning not happening. So we'll see what I'll decide to do for the rest of the year. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So that is my other confession is memory planning just seems to be a struggle for me. <laughs> so let's move on to my office space. If you, uh, you know, follow me over on Instagram, which you should, by the way, if you're not, it's random plans. So be sure to follow me there. That's where I share with you guys, you know, some, uh, some ways that I use my planners, my inserts, that kind of stuff. Love for you to join me there. So that's where I shared with you guys my office space and how it looks like. You can see my planner cart is completely empty. I still have my planner supplies and boxes. The desk that I use for filming has not even been built yet. So just to show you guys that my space is completely unorganized right now. So that is on my to-do list to get you know, my planner supplies, uh, you know, back in order, my office space set up. So be sure that you are subscribed so that you see how my office space uh, ends up looking once it is complete and organized. So in the meantime, honestly, guys, I'm just using the stuff that I have in my planner. So, you know, I have shared this before. I love to have sticky notes throughout my planner. I've got some page flags. So this way, you know, I don't have to rely on, uh, you know, my desk or supplies or something like that. Whatever I need to use is already inside of my planner, which is why, you know, it doesn't bother me that I still have a bunch of things in boxes. That's completely okay. Because again, like I said, everything that I need and use on a daily basis is already inside of my planner. Okay. I think this confession will actually shock a lot of you. You guys know how much I love my uh, Louis Vuitton medium ring agenda, which is equivalent to personal size. Uh, as much as I love this planner, I do sometimes feel, and I have been thinking about uh, downsizing to a smaller size or maybe even a compact. And the reason for that is I find that a lot of the handbags that I carry, Although this fits in there, it does take up a lot of the space and my handbag tends to, you know, it becomes heavy. So, you know, there are times where I'm just like, I don't know, maybe I should downsize. Maybe I should look at using something else. So I have been, you know, eyeing other planners. There are other options out there that I'm looking at. I won't reveal anything to you guys, but stay tuned because there could be potential change happening uh, in the near future. As always, I will keep you guys posted if and when that does happen. So that is it for my video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, you guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.